God bless you today. We're thankful to the Lord for his many blessings. We're thankful that we can consider God today uh, through the fellowship with those who are here uh, in the worship place, as well as those who are joining us online. Uh, we are thankful because God is faithful. We are thankful because the joy of the Lord is our strength. Uh, we are thankful because uh, uh, all, everything that concerns us is in his hands uh, today. Now, in Joshua chapter 1 and verses 8 and 9, uh, I want to read that passage from the New American Standard Version of Scripture, uh, where it says, uh, This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful uh, to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous and then you will achieve success. Yes. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be terrified or, nor dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. The subject is God is with us. God is with us. Now, the Lord your God is with you. These are powerful words of assurance, especially during uncertain times. Here, God speaks directly to Joshua about the blessing of being empowered by the presence of God. You can do more than you imagine when God is with you. Yes. Uh, your confidence and trust in God will increase when God is with you. Mm -hmm. uh, God prepares Joshua for leadership of the nation when God says to him, as I was with Moses, so shall I be with thee. Yes. It is most fortunate that God can be with you wherever you go. It's a difference maker when you know that God is with you. It's a difference maker when you can feel his presence. It's a, a difference maker when you know that he is guiding you, that he's surrounding you, and that he is bringing you to the appointed place at the appointed time. Now, so it is fortunate that God is with us wherever we go. Now, when the Lord is present, he becomes your covering. Mm -hmm. He becomes your blessing. He becomes your protection. And all of those things are good for us, as we know that covering and protection are somewhat similar. Uh, but the covering goes to the degree that he is not only protecting you, but that he's looking out for you. Oh, yeah. he's, he's, he's seeing things before you see them. He is perceiving things before you become aware of them. I remember as a child hearing the saints say that uh, he delivers us from danger seen and unseen. Oh, yeah. Because the covering of the Lord is upon us. He gives you strength. He gives you courage. He gives you comfort and power to deal with any situation. No wonder Paul sounds loudly when he says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Because with that strength, we now have the power to do what we need to do. With that strength, we now have the ability from God to deal with that challenge mm -hmm. and know that it's going to work out. Yes. When God is with you, your faith, your character, and even your creativity will grow. Uh, you will blossom in the Lord. You will blossom in the things of God. You will blossom with a newfound confidence because God is on your side. Yeah, yeah. Now, this first chapter of Joshua introduces the book of Joshua and serves as 
a bridge from the ministry of Moses to that of Joshua. It reveals Joshua's mission and God's intention of leading Israel to the promised land. Uh, God instructs Joshua to cross the Jordan River along with approximately two and a half million people. Uh, God points out the path that Israel must travel to take possession of the land. Uh, God wants you to make progress as well. Uh, he wants to see that you're moving from point A to point B. He wants to see that you are developing within him. He wants to see that you're going to higher heights and oh, yeah. deeper depths in the Lord. God wants you to make progress. No wonder the scripture says that we are to grow in grace oh, yeah. and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Uh, don't allow anyone to hinder you or to make you think that there's no progress in store for you. Yeah. Don't allow anyone to make you think that you're stuck in your tracks and that there's just nothing you can do uh, to make a better life for yourself. God wants you to make progress. Uh, he provides for your journey and the ultimate conquest of the things that he has prepared for you. Uh, some things God gives to you, and then some things God allows you to work for. Uh, some things God just uh, bestows it on you, but some things you have to go through some difficult times and some uncertain times. But whatever uh, the situation is, God prepares you for the journey and gives you the power to win out over everything that is against you. In fact, God puts the right people around you at the right time. Amen. Oh yeah, he helps you to overcome the challenges and the obstacles along the way. He makes you stronger and better from day to day. I remember as a child being in the car along with some ladies who were driving quite a distance from Chicago to Joliet, quite a uh, Illinois, and uh, quite a distance. And we went kind of the rural way where it was just dark, no street lights or anything like that. And on our way, uh, we ran out of gas. And there was nothing but ladies. I was the only gentleman, young boy in the car. And, and they began to wonder, how are we gonna deal with this? Uh, how are we gonna make it from here? And so they offered a prayer together. And after uh, they prayed, uh, there was a big light that shined behind us. And a man came up uh, with the gas already in hand and uh, poured it into uh, the car. And we was able to start the car. And when we looked back again, there was no sign whatsoever of him. I tell you, when the women saw that, they broke out into praise right there. They said, God sent his angel. <laughs> oh, yes, with what we needed. We didn't even have to say we need gas. He came with the gas, put it in there, and we were on our way. Oh, yeah, God covers us. He makes ways for us, and he makes you stronger through uh, your trials and the conflicts and the experiences that you endure. Uh, God tells Joshua to go to the land that I will give to you. Uh -huh. Every place that the sole of your feet shall tread upon, I will give to you. Uh -huh. uh, this land is a gift from God to his people. Uh, God selected it. God brought his people there, yeah. allowed them to walk the land uh -huh. and to take possession of it. Uh, this gift should remind you of the many gifts that God has given to you. Uh, it should remind you of those times when you didn't know how you were going to be blessed, but you were blessed anyhow. It should to remind you of those times when you just didn't know how you were going to get through. Uh, but God made a way. Uh, he gives gifts uh, to us. He bless, blesses us when we don't deserve it. 
He blessed you in a manner, uh, in, in such a way that uh, you could say that it was nobody but God uh, that brought about my deliverance today. Before you realize what was happening, God had already uh, made a way. Uh, God definitely looks out for you and does miraculous things for your benefit and for his glory. Yeah. But the scriptures let us know that God loves to give gifts to his children. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I heard it said that when you ask your father for bread, will he give you stones? Oh no, he won't. Because he loves to give good gifts to his children. We can be confident of that, that God's got us, that he's working things out, that he's covering, that he knows, that he cares, that he brings things into uh, your life to make sure that you can receive uh, what he has in store for you. Now, God assures Joshua that he will achieve everything that God has instructed him to do. In fact, the Lord says, no one shall be able to stand against you. Uh, no one shall hinder you from reaching the goal. Without question, some try to stop those who are sent by God. Uh, they attempt to block you and make things difficult for you. However, you have what it takes to make it through yeah. uh, the struggle and through the opposition. You have what it takes to hold on. Somebody said, if I can just hold on yeah. till tomorrow, yeah. uh, my change is going to come. If I can just make it through the night, I heard someone say that joy is coming in the morning. Uh, no one can stand against you. Uh, God reminds you that I will be with you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a point to just drop the mic. He said, I will be with you. Yeah. Uh, you know for a certainty that God is right there. You know for a certainty that he's just the prayer way. You know for a certainty that God will provide. Yeah. Because he says, I will be with you. Oh yeah, even when you can't see me, I will be with you. Even when you can't feel me, I will be with you. Yeah. When it seems like everything is going against you, I will be there. Yeah. Hallelujah. And he will stand up uh, for you in uh, that latter uh, day. Uh, I will be with you. I will uh, not fail you, says the Lord. I will not forsake you. Uh, says our God. Uh, we ought to allow that to resonate just for a moment. Uh, God says, not only will I be with you, but I will not fail you. Uh -huh. I will not let you down. I will not disappoint you. I heard somebody say that he may not come when you want him, but he's always on time. I will not fail you. Uh, that's a promise from God. I won't fail you and I will not forsake you. Uh, you've experienced the times when folk left you. you experienced the time when even your best friend may have uh, fallen out with you. Uh, but the Lord said, I will not forsake you. Uh, the writer in Hebrews says that uh, God promised that he would never leave us or forsake us. Oh yeah, he remembered the many times that God said, I won't fail you. <laughs> he remembered the many times that God said, I won't leave you. And he says thousands of years later, remember that God will not leave you uh, nor forsake you. Uh, we have some guarantees from God that we can build on. We have some guarantees uh, from the Lord that will build uh, our courage in this day. I uh, know that he didn't bring you this far to leave you now. Uh, be encouraged by the same promise that was made 
to Joshua, I will be with you. I will not fail you. I will not forsake you. Uh, it is written, these words are written in Joshua for your learning and to build your faith in the law. Uh, God will not fail. Uh, he is present at all times. He will see you all the way through uh, from earth to glory. Uh, one thing that God requires of Joshua and of us today is to be strong and very courageous. Let me say it again. Be strong and very uh, courageous. Uh, God wants us to represent him and to provide leadership in this world. Uh, someone needs to see Jesus in your life. Uh, they need to see that you are committed to the Lord. Uh, they need to know that you put your trust uh, in the Lord. Uh, they need a clear picture of what it means to serve the Lord. Uh, Joshua must lead the people with strength and courage. Uh, he would be or become the administrator of the land. In fact, God says, I want you to divide the land up and give it to the different families, the different tribes. I'm putting this on you to decide who gets what portion. And I'm putting it on you to make the decision about where the different tribes will live in the promised land. Yes. Oh yeah, he needed to be strong and courageous uh, as he carried out uh, that duty. Because as you know, that when you have the power to administrate and to decide who gets this and who gets that, uh, some folk are going to be angry with you. Somebody's are going to give you a hard time. Somebody's going to say, oh, you gave them the prime spot. You could have given me uh, that spot. Uh, they will bring all kind of pressure uh, against you, uh, even as the one that God has appointed uh, for that season. Uh, Joshua had to be strong enough to say yes when he meant yes and no when he meant no. Uh, strength and courage are required to lead God's people. Uh -huh. uh, strength and courage are required to live for the law. Uh, somebody says, well, I'm uh, not a leader, uh, but you are a child of God and you need strength and courage to hold on and to do what God wants you to do. Uh, you need to be strong and very courageous uh, to live for him who uh, died for you. Now, God further directs Joshua to meditate uh, day and night on God's word. Uh, meditate both day and night in the law. Med uh, meditate to make sure you understand it. Meditate to understand what it is that God wants you to do. Uh, this kind of meditation uh, in which a person thinks deeply, uh, not shallow thinking, but thinks deeply about what God has said. Uh, they focus their attention on it. They focus their thought processes on it. They, they focus their mind on what, whatever God has said. In fact, Jesus says, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Oh yeah, this meditation is a thought process. This uh, meditation is a talking process by which we speak the word. Uh, we must say it. We uh, must recall it as we say it. And the more we say it, the more it gets buried deep within our heart. Yeah. Uh, we must speak the word, memorize it, yes. hide it in our hearts, give attention to it, and let it guide you in all of your actions. Uh, some folk today 
uh, claim to love Jesus, but spend very little or even no time in the Word. Uh, they don't know what God is saying. They, they don't have that ready reference within themselves when they face struggles and troubles to know how to respond because they don't spend time in the Word. Uh, they don't know how God thinks about a certain thing because they do not spend time in the Word. They don't know what God expects of them because they don't spend time in the Word. But the Lord is instructing all of us today to spend time in the Word, uh, to meditate on God's Word until it is ingrained in your consciousness. Uh, meditate on that Word until you can speak it in faith, until you can know that it's very deep in your heart. Uh, meditate on that word that if, even if you don't have the printed Bible you have that word hid in your heart and nobody can take away what God has said to you can I get a witness here oh yeah meditate on God's word until it's ingrained in your heart the word must be at the forefront of your relationship with God uh, we don't even know how to relate to God without his word. We don't even know how to bring ourselves to God without his word. Uh, we don't know how to function uh, in the kingdom without his word. The word must be at the forefront of your relationship with God and with your fellow man. I know that there's some times when you're tempted to get discouraged, but in that moment you realize that there's a word on it, that he walks with me, that he talks with me. You realize in that moment that God is with you and a word comes to the forefront of your mind that helps you to anchor yourself in God and to be patient. Uh, just like David said, I had to say to myself, wait, I say on the Lord. Uh, sometimes you have to encourage uh, yourself by the word. Uh, sometimes you have to encourage uh, yourself by what God has said. Uh, the word is important to meditate upon. Uh, the psalmist says, thy word have I hid in my heart yeah, that I yeah. might not sin against me. Yes. Uh, the, uh, I'm uh, convinced uh, that this psalmist was right, uh, that I spent time hiding it away. Yeah. I spent time putting the word uh, where it will function and where it will grow in me. Yeah. I spend time uh, with the word till there's no excuse that in the moment that I'm tempted and tried, I remember what God has said. Uh, you must respect what God has said and order your life according to his plan. Yes. Oh yeah, Joshua must function according to God's word. Uh, focus on all that is written in the book and obey the word uh, to prosper and have good success. The word, it says, uh, the scripture says, the word must not depart from Joshua's mouth. It must hang there. It must, must be there as part of his words. It must be there as part of him reciting the word so that he will remember it. It must not depart from your mouth. That sometimes when you face a problem, uh, there'll be a word that you can speak uh, to that situation. It must not depart from your mouth. When somebody will tell you that you have no reason to hope in the Lord, uh, you have a word that he will not fail me and he will not forsake me. Uh, you must, uh, Joshua must meditate on it and carefully obey the word. Uh, only then could he make his way prosperous and have good success. Uh, when you do what God wants, you can then flow in the things of God and consistently experience his presence. Uh, God's favor 
will pursue you wherever uh, you go. Uh, Psalms 1 says, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, uh, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate a uh, day and yeah. night, and he right. shall be like a tree uh, planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Here we have a word that helps us to understand that not only does God want you to progress, but God enables you to meditate on his word so that you can prosper in the things that you must do. Uh, yes, you have the, the endowment from God and the, the nourishment from God to help you uh, keep on keeping on. Uh, whatever you do, uh, it shall prosper. Uh, this tells me that we need God today. Uh, we need him like never before. Uh, we need God to stabilize us. We need God to establish us in the truth. Uh, we need God, oh yes, to be out in front of us, uh, helping us to do his will and to give him glory and to give him praise. Uh, we must surrender to his will and to his guidance. Uh, seek after God's presence in everything that you do. Uh, your relationship with God must be real. Uh, it must be the cornerstone of your life. Uh, Jesus says, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all of these things, the things that you need will be added. Uh, some folks seek status and earthly things first and sometimes fall into the trap of distancing themselves from the Lord. Uh, you don't need to miss out uh, on making progress with the Lord on your side. Uh, you can make uh, it real. You can make it lasting and eternal progress uh, with God. Uh, you need God out in front of you. Uh, you need God to fight your battles. Uh, uh, you need God to order your step. Uh, no wonder David says, Yet though I walk through the valley of uh, the shadow of death, I'll fear no evil uh, because thou art with me. Uh, it's great to know that God is with us. Uh, it's great to know that during those challenging times and dark times that God is right where you need him. Uh, you need God to make ways out of no way. Uh, uh, you need God to open doors for you. Uh, he is with you uh, and you don't have to be afraid. Uh, that's why God says to Joshua, whatever you do, uh, don't be afraid. Uh, be uh, strong. Be courageous. Uh, but don't be afraid. Uh, uh, be strong. Uh, uh, be courageous. Uh, and don't get discouraged. Uh, because the Lord says, I am with you. Uh, and don't you forget that. Uh, uh, I am with you. Uh, when the heat of the battle. Uh, uh, I am with you. Um, uh, when you don't show your way out. Uh, uh, I am with you. Uh, uh, when the pressure comes to bear. Uh, uh, I am with you. Uh, so we have this uh, dictation. Uh, uh, this dictate from God. Uh, uh, not to be afraid. Uh, and I tell you when God. Uh, is on your side uh, uh, he gives you a praise uh, uh, he gives you an assurance uh, uh, he gives you a victory uh, uh, he gives you an inner knowing uh, that this is the time uh, uh, not to fear uh, uh, Paul says God has not given you uh, the spirit of fear uh, but love uh, uh, power 
uh, and a sound mind uh, at the time when others are afraid. Uh, uh, God is filling your heart with love. Uh, uh, he's giving you the ability uh, to say, I love God uh, with all of my heart, uh, with all of my soul, uh, and all of my mind. Uh, it's that time uh, and others are Frank, uh, that God has given you power. Uh, oh, good God of my uh, power uh, to do what you need to do. Uh, power uh, to put the devil on the run. Uh, power uh, to get the victory by any means necessary. Uh, power uh, to wait on God. Uh, power uh, to encourage yourself. Uh, 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 to lift up your head uh, uh, oh ye gates uh, and be lifted up uh, your everlasting doors uh, because any now any, uh, uh, any moment now uh, the king of glory uh, I shall come in uh, uh, can you witness here uh, uh, yes uh, the Lord will uh, uh, show up uh, the Lord will uh, uh, rock you uh, uh, when you get weary, uh, the Lord will uh, uh, smile uh, upon you uh, uh, in your situation. Uh, the Lord will uh, uh, dry the tears uh, uh, from your eyes. Uh, the Lord will uh, uh, tap you uh, uh, on the shoulder uh, and say, It's all right now. Uh, the Lord will uh, take you uh, uh, by the hand. Uh, and lead your own. Uh, uh, somebody said, uh, I must uh, uh, tell Jesus uh, uh, all about myself. Uh, uh, I must tell Jesus uh, and Jesus alone. Uh, but he, uh, uh, he can help me. Uh, uh, can I get a witness here? Uh, uh, can the Lord help you? Uh, uh, can the Lord make a way? Uh, uh, can the Lord deliver? Uh, uh, can the Lord set you free? Uh, can you say yes, Lord? Uh, uh, can you say yes, Lord? Uh, uh, we're not uh, uh, going to give up now. Uh, uh, we're not uh, going to throw in the towel. Uh, uh, we're not uh, uh, going to give up hope. Uh, uh, we're not uh, going to let go of our faith. Uh, because we believe uh, uh, that he's with us. Uh, uh, can you witness here? Uh, I can feel him uh, uh, in my hands. Uh, uh, I can feel him uh, uh, in my feet. Uh, uh, Feel the Lord uh, all over me. Uh, I can do it here. Uh, yes, uh, he's a great God. Uh, yes, uh, he's the great I am. Uh, yes, uh, he's the lily uh, of the valley, uh, the bright uh, and morning star. Uh, yes, uh, he's Doctor, I am the sick room. I'm my lawyer. I am the courtroom. I yes. I he walks with me. I he talks with me. I he tells me that I am his own. I yes. I he put a praise. I in my heart. He put joy. I unspeakable and fool. Uh, uh, of glory. Uh, uh, can I witness here? Uh, uh, yes. Uh, uh, they may uh, uh, try to stop you. Uh, uh, they may uh, uh, try to block you. Uh, but I know somebody uh, that's got all power uh, uh, in his hand. Uh, can you say yes, Lord? Uh, can you say yes, Lord? Uh, if you know he's a great God, uh, can you say yes, Lord? Uh, if you know he's a way maker, can you say yes? If you know he's a keeper, can you say yes, Lord? If you know he's your blesser, he's your day and your night, he's your everything, can you say yes, Lord? Glory to God. Glory to God. God is with us. 
God is with us. God is with us. The very words that God speaks to Joshua. As I was with Moses, so shall I be with thee. <laughs> he's with us. It gets rocky sometimes, but he's with you. Can I get a witness here? Yeah. <laughs> it's all the difference. He's with you. He opens the door for you. He, he's giving you a reason to trust in him. He lets you know that everything will be all right. The Lord says, I am with you wherever you go. Wherever you go, the Lord says, I'm with you. He's right there when others walk out. He's right there when you can't see your way. He's right there to fix it for you. There's a song that says, trouble in my way. I have to cry sometimes. I lay awake at night. But that's all right, because Jesus will fix it after a while. This is what you can expect when God is with you. You can expect him to nudge you in the right direction. You can expect him to comfort your heart. You can expect him to bring peace into your circumstances. You can expect God to show his mighty hand. Oh, in your circumstance. God is with us. That's a joy. That's a wonderful thing to know. We have this guarantee from God, I will be with you. I will not fail you. I will not forsake you. Be encouraged today. Trust in the Lord. Give your life to God. Hallelujah. Let him bring you into that perfect relationship with him by which you know that God is ordering your steps and bringing you further and further into the progress that he has designed for you. In Jesus' name, have a blessed day. Amen. 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 Amen.